this is Ekatna here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation which is an m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. So let's get started. Problem solve 2x y cube plus y cos x into dx plus 3x square y square plus sin x into dy equals to 0. Solution given differential equation. Two x y q plus y cos x into dx plus three x square y square plus sin x into dy equals to zero, which is all m dx plus n dy equals to zero. So by comparing these two, we'll get where m equals to 2xy cube plus y cos x and n equals to 3x square y square plus sin x. If partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is n exact equation okay so first we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y dou m by dou y equals to dou by dou y of m 2xy cube plus y cos x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x is considered as constant. Okay? So treat x as constant. Dou y dou y of 2xy cube plus dou y dou y of y cos x. This is equals to your 2x is constant, so you can write this as 2x into dou y dou y of y cube plus your cos y is sorry cos x is constant, so you can write this as cos x into dou y dou y of y. This is equals to 2x into derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3y squared plus cos x into, you can write this as dou y by dou y, that is derivative of y with respect to y, which is equals to 2 into 3, 6, x, y square, plus cos x into derivative of y with respect to y is 1, this is equals to 6, x, y square plus cos x. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to 6xy square plus cos x. Now we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to x dou n by dou x equals to dou by dou x of n 3 x square y square plus sin x. Here y square is treated as constant since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. You can write this as dou by dou x of 3 x square y square Let's do y to x of sin x is equals to 3y square into since 3 and y square are constants. So we can write the above as okay. We just we'll just write the constant separately into derivative of 
x square with respect to x plus derivative of sin x is cos x is equal to 3y square into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus cos x is equal to reduce a 6 x y square plus cos x therefore partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to 6 x y square plus cos x these two are equal right therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that if you consider the given equation as 1, therefore 1 is an exact equation. So now we have to find the general solution of the given differential equation. Since the given differential equation is exact so the general equation is given by integral over x m dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to integral constant c okay first we will consider we'll find the first one integral over x m into dx that is Integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant is equal to integral of m. You're having m two x y cube plus y cos x into dx. Okay, so here y cube, y and 2 are constants, right? So let's write the constants outside the integral. 2y cube into integral x into dx. Firstly, integral 2xy cube to dx plus integral y cos x to dx. Okay, now we can write the constants outside the integral. 2 and y cube, here y is a constant. So this is equal to 2 y cube into integral x dx plus y integral cos x dx. So this is equal to 2 y cube into integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus y into integral cos x dx is sine x. 2 gets cancelled. So this equals to x square y cube x square y cube plus y sine x. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. So we are having n equals to 3x square y square plus sin x. Do we have any terms which are free from x? We are having x in both the terms, right? So there is no term which is free from x. So we'll take terms of n free from 0. Free from x is 0. Equals to 0. Okay. So therefore, the general solution of 1 is 2 plus 3 equals to c. 
that is the result obtained from this integral x square y cube plus y sine x plus 3 that is the result obtained from the second integral 0 equals to c x square y cube plus y sine x equals to c is the required general solution. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is x square y cube plus y sine x equals to c. Fine. So, we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.